<laughs> I don't know why you guys keep asking me how I style my hair because it's completely crazy, but uh, I'll help you guys out. So ever since my hair has been longer this past year, I've had to maintain it more than ever. Now there's three ways I wash my hair and three ways I style my hair, at least for the most part. So I'll wash it with either clay water, African black soap, or just water on its own. The clay water is what I prefer to do once or twice a week, and it's the least invasive, most natural way to clean your hair. The black soap is for when my hair gets dirty, AKA some New York City girl tries to spit in my mouth and misses, and then she maybe runs her fingers through my hair. I don't know, something kind of gross. But most of the time I shower every day, it's just water. And the reason to use clay over the soap is because that soap tends to clump up in your hair, it gets stuck, and when you have longer hair, it can be hard to get that soap out, therefore you can't really style it. The three ways I style it are simply combed back and tied off in the gay man bun. One style is curly, this is like almost curly. And the other, which you guys don't see a lot, is straight down, uh, which I'll show you guys how to do after you wash it. You basically comb it back, tie it back, and the next day you let the hair down. I like doing the clay water in a bowl in the sink because you kind of waste a lot of the clay and it's kind of tedious if you don't. So what we're gonna do is just fill this bowl up with filtered water and then put a little bit of clay in it. This is just the white Callan clay we have on Frankie's Naturals. You can use any clay that you have access to, just make sure it's relatively clean and smells good. So again, this is basically how I wash my hair on a weekly basis. I'll, I'll dunk most of it in the water. Really just like scrub my scalp, get the clay in there. And then what I'll do is I'll take like a glass and I'll pour the water over my head just to make sure it gets everywhere on the sides and on the back. So I'll basically do this for five minutes. You know, I'll keep scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing, really getting that uh, mineral water in my hair. Uh, so let's go upstairs to uh, the shower to show you guys everything else. So once or twice a week, I do that clay water. And then most of the time, five, six days out of the week, I just rinse my hair back like this. Just let the water run through it. Maybe scratch my scalp, sides, everything a bit. Now I can style the hair curly, which is really simple. You just run your fingers through your hair and just try to get that moisture out. Get all the knots out. And there could be a lot, there could be a little, but just really run your fingers through your hair maybe a dozen times. All the tangles out. And that's really it. So now my hair is gonna air dry and it might take, you know, literally like a day, a day and a half to air dry. You know, if you're in the sun, if you're out exercising, it'll dry a lot quicker. Uh, if your hair is much longer like mine, you might wanna use like a sea salt spray. I found that the only way to really get my hair curly when it's this long is to either soak it in salt water, uh, sea salt spray, or, or maybe you go to the beach during the summer, that's another way. But if you just let it air dry like this and your hair is this long and it's heavy, it might not get that curly. The last way to clean our hair is with the black soap. But if you clean your hair with the black soap, you're not gonna be able to style it like this because you're gonna have clumps of soap in your hair and it's, it's not gonna just dry out. It's gonna be like a little bit of the oils and the natural stuff that's in the black soap. But if you do find your hair getting dirty for one reason or another, let me show you guys how I do the black soap. So you could take like a chunk of this, like an actual bar of soap, you know, and you could start, you know, rubbing it in your hair, but that's a little messy. So what I like to do is I'll, I'll rub the black soap between my hands just to lather it up. And then I'll run my hands through my hair, really scrub, get the soap in there. And then I'll do it again, more lather. Run my hands through my hair. Really scrub, get the soap in there. 
And then after I do that, maybe four or five times, I'll rinse the soap out, and then I'll repeat the process again. So obviously, if you know your hair is shorter, you have a much easier time doing this. You won't have to worry about getting as much soap stuck in your hair. And that's really it for the washing. So when my hair was shorter, I used to use a pomade. Uh, this is uh, also something we have on Frankie's Naturals. And I haven't tried this with the longer hair because I probably have to put so much in it. But if you really want to slick your hair back, style it in any way, uh, I ended up making this natural pomade because there were literally no natural pomades on the market. And this stuff stays in your hair for, you know, two, three, four days. So you don't really have to use it that much. But since I'm not having curly hair tomorrow and I don't feel like doing some sea salt spray, we're just going to comb it back. And this is just a cheap Con Air comb. I bought it off Amazon as much as I hate Amazon. And I haven't really found anything to be more effective. And this is only like two or three dollars, I think. So you have to kind of do this when the hair is wet because when my hair is dry and it's really poofy, it's just hair everywhere and it doesn't look good. So I just make sure to comb the entire length of the hair and focus on getting the hair in like the front, like the sides and the top here, really like straight and combed because when I put it back, I don't want like sprigs of hair sticking out. Okay, that's it. And I'll just pull it back with my hands and I'll tie it off with a hair tie. So this is how you guys see my hair most of the time. And the only other way I've tried to style this is straight. So, you know, like tomorrow morning, sometime tomorrow when my hair is not dry, but almost dry, if I take the hair tie out, I can kind of like comb my hair down and it's still kind of straight. It's not really reliable and I wouldn't consider it a style, but it is something I've noticed, you know, without having to actually physically straighten your hair. Oh, the, there is a fourth way I style my hair and that's basically wet. So uh, you guys saw earlier in the video when I started, my hair was all over the place, really, really crazy, and it doesn't look good. Uh, so instead of combing my hair back right after I take a shower, we do the same thing. We run the fingers through the hair like we did with the curly hair. And before it air dries, it looks like this. You know, I don't know what you would call this, maybe like the Greek god hair, but I, I think this looks a lot better than it does when it's dry. And I think it also looks better than, you know, completely pulled back. The only downside to this style is your hair has to be completely wet. And even after just an hour or two of drying, it starts like poofing out and it doesn't look as good. Uh, so hopefully this gives you guys some insights to my several different hairstyles. And, and just to reiterate on the straight hair stuff, you probably actually have to use a straightener to make it look decent. But maybe I'll try doing that in, in one or two videos this week. I doubt I'll be able to pull it off. Uh, but if you guys have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below. If you guys want to purchase the shampoo or the black soap, we have it available on Frankie's Naturals. Um, outside of that, we're doing a live stream later tonight on the channel Frank Tufano. I think we'll cover some current events, maybe the presidential stuff. But uh, I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video.